Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today's one of my favourites because I really love this animal. Um, here's a picture of me feeding a little baby llama and that's exactly what we're going to be drawing. This is actually an adult sized llama, but you're going to need a pencil, an eraser and a black pen. That's all that you're going to need. And if you enjoy drawing animals, don't forget to download my free PDF of how to draw a horse galloping, which you can find just here. So let's get started. We're going to start off with a circle here on the left hand side. So just using a pencil very lightly, just draw a circle here. This doesn't have to be perfect. If you want to use something to draw around or a compass, that's fine too. But I'm just doing a very rough circle there. Okay, so next to your circle, you're gonna need an oval. Now this oval is gonna be one and a half times bigger than your circle. So just using my fingers, I'm just gonna measure. So that's one and then half will come to about here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to use a ruler. It's just a very simple kind of measurement just so that I know what I'm doing. There's your oval. Doesn't matter if it's messy, I'm gonna go around mine about 10 times, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now we're gonna do the back legs. So using our fingers again to measure, so it will be the size of the back circle down here, plus a little bit extra, so that takes it down to about here. Okay, and you're just going to draw a line coming out this back circle, coming down, and then it tilts, and then that's where the foot's going to be. Okay, so in the middle of this oval shape, we're gonna draw the front legs. So, this is just a line coming down, the little tilt there, just like that. And then the other one just next to it. This one's kind of bent. There we go, with the little tilt there. Okie dokie. So next we're going to be doing the neck and that's going to be the same height as the oval. We're just going to measure from about here. So that's going to be the top of the head. So from here we're just going to draw an oval shape. Just like that. Okay, and then there's going to be like an S shape coming round for the neck. There you go. And another one for the front of the neck. Just like so. Then we're going to do two pointy triangles. We're going to join up this oval shape to the circle behind it. Remember, if I'm going too fast, just pause the video, catch up or rewind it if you miss a little bit. So you don't have to rush, you know. I've done this before, so, you know, you can go much, much slower. Okay, so that's our first stage. Second stage is going to be adding a little bit more detail. So still using your pencil. Don't forget we're gonna go over this in pen at the end. So, we're just kind of blocking in everything here. So just follow this line round to do the leg. There we go. And the llama's toes comes round. I haven't got particularly big feet. Just bring it round like this. Don't press too heavily, I'm only pressing heavily so that you can see it. And remember the llamas have really thick woolly coats. So just do lots of these feathery lines all the way down. Okay, to about here. Now we're going to follow the tummy, make it a bit more furry. So again, just lots of lines. I'm just doing lines like this so that you can see it. Bring it round, bring it up slightly here. And then this is where the front leg's going to start. Bring it round like 
nice. And then the front here. Bring it round. Way around. To the front. Again, we're going to follow with this furry coat. Just like that. And then we're going to do this leg just peeping out from behind. Round like that. And then we're just going to go up like this. Now we're going to do a close up of the head. Okay, so for the head, we're going to start off with the eye, which is just going to be just here. And then the eyelid. Okay, so we're going to draw the shape of the head. So coming up from the top, it's going to be a little bit flatter here. And they've got one of these incredible noses. So, just doing the nose like this. And then a protruding top lip. So that comes around like that. like so and then the bottom lips a lot smaller comes around like that bring it round just like that okay I'm just going to rub out this just so that you can see it a little bit clearer rub out some of these preparatory lines that we used okay so this is going to come up like this, all the way up, there we go, then I'm just going to also rub out these ears, then we're going to do these large ears, so starting with the centre part of the ear, comes all the way around, I'm just going to colour that in, and then I'm just going to do the outline the ear and then bring it round and then the same on the other side it comes around like that okay so we can add a bit more fur to this farmer's neck and then it's going to join the pack and then a bit more fur here so it can join all the way down here. I'm just going to lengthen this front leg. So that's the beauty of doing it all in pencil is that you can rub bits out and then you can go back and change them afterwards. Because you never really know um, if everything's in proportion until the end and you take a step back, always take a step back from your work Give yourself some distance between you and the work because you've been staring at it in so, such close proximity you kind of get you kind of lose yourself in it you start looking at each little section on its own as opposed to part of the whole okay that looks much better much more in proportion now so there we go i'm going to go over it in pen oh just one thing we've forgotten the tail so i'm just going to add in a big fluffy tail, just like that. Okay, now I get back to my point and we're going to carry on and we're going to do this in pen now. our finished llama drawing. As you can see I've added a bit more shading underneath to all the parts that are in shadow. So just have a look, just add a few more lines with your pen just here. Oh I've forgotten underneath the chin, just a little bit there. 
anywhere where it's a little bit darker, just add a bit more shadow underneath the tail. And that's your finished llama drawing. If you've enjoyed it or if you've got any suggestions at all, just leave them down below in the comment section and hit subscribe and like, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you, bye-bye.